Good TV can be downright addictive. The heart leaps as the West Wing's music soars and C.J. Craig sweeps into the oval. That special surge, anticipating an almighty clash between Kyle and LVP in Beverly Hills. Other TV shows, eh, take it or leave it. What makes certain TV shows so addictive to certain people? Oh my God, I'm gonna cry, my God, I'm gonna hear anything. <laughs> Chemically speaking, dopamine. That's the feel-good hormone, a neurotransmitter linked to bliss and euphoria. No. When you're watching something on TV that you really enjoy, your brain produces dopamine. Repeated production of the chemical, like during a weekend of binge watching, can result in a drug-like high. It's the brain's signal that communicates to the body, this feels good. You should keep doing this. That's the way Dr. Renee Carr, a clinical psychologist, put it to NBC News. Carr calls it a pseudo-addiction. And one more thing about dopamine. If you feel euphoric right before sitting down to watch your favorite show, it's because the initial burst of dopamine occurs in anticipation of that reward. Sort of primes you for more to come, magnifying the feeling. And as we all know, in a world of responsibilities, the tube sucks you in. It's a great escape. Nielsen reports that adults spend about four hours and 10 minutes a day watching live TV. Binge watching is a whole nother beast, especially in the streaming era. And these marathons point to some secret ingredients of can't turn it off TV. Researchers have found that in the age of short social media exchanges, we have a hunger for longer narratives. We see ourselves in characters. That's called identification. There's also wishful identification, where you wish you were the character. The Rachels. Natural born leaders with a flair for fashion. Or parasocial interaction. That's when you feel a connection to a character. I want that. We use TV to break free of day-to-day -day slogs. Work and commute and relationships and, well, life. Binge watching creates a virtual world where the real world stresses do not exist. Hot shows also become communal. When everyone's talking about them, we get to join in. It's a shared experience. Now, too much TV viewing can result in too few social connections. And that can be detrimental because it is in our very nature to need real, live human interaction and connection. As is true with so many feel-good activities, moderation, self-control are still important. That might mean self-imposed caps on the number of episodes to binge. But watch out for the cliffhangers. They make it tempting to stick around for just one more episode. One more. Okay, then just one more after that.